Hey guys, Ivan here from Slabs Hobby Hub. Today we have Topps 2021 Baseball Series 1 just released set. We have a hanger box that has two exclusive Royal Blue Base Parallel cards and then this fat pack and this fat pack has one exclusive Cody Bellinger Highlights card. Interesting, very interesting. So we got these at Target today or it might have been Walmart. I don't remember. We went to a couple of them today. But anyways, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you are notified for our next video. Without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. So, it's the first time opening the hanger box. I'm just going to go right into it, guys. 67 cards. So there, <laughs> there are, it is a lot of cards in Top Series 2021. I think the base set itself is something like 300 cards. 300 cards. So it is a huge, huge set. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just chop this in half. Um, so I'm gonna put that over there. All right, first card, Sterling Marte. Oh, let's see, that's an interesting card. Sterling, playful bout of juniors. Interesting, okay. All right, Brandon Workman, Bobby Dalbeck. Oh, that's a cool looking card. Danny Duffy, Jay Adele, Tyler Stevenson, Eddie Alvarez. Got a bunch of rookies already. Casey Mize. That's a, that's a really good rookie card. He is uh, one of the future stars for the Detroit Tigers. They have a loaded farm system. So this is a really good one. This He is their number one pitcher in the in their farm right now, in their farm system. Chris Bubich. I hope I said that right. Bo Burrows, another Tiger. Bo Bichetti, future star. I like that. All right, we'll keep going. Jamar. Ryan Castellani. So we'll put that there in the rookie pile. Nick Heath, Tristan McKenzie. So we've got a ton, a ton of, uh, of rookies so far. Jesse Winger. And we'll keep going. Oh, we got something shiny coming up. Luis Garcia. Evan Longoria and our upside down looks like it's a Padre. It is a Francisco Mejia. So that's a pretty cool parallel. Garrett Cole, Clayton Kershaw, Chris Bryant, Aaron Judge. That's a bunch of heavy hitters right after the other. Vlad Guerrero, Luke Volt, and Johnny Cueto. All right, remember we cut our deck earlier. We got Jacob deGrom. Put that over there. Tria Turner, Jorge Alfaro, Kinsler, Cole. So check out the print quality on these cards. So we have, so I'm assuming this is the first run. I mean, the this, this set just came out this week. So let's look at the centering. Can you guys see? So I want to say the centering looks just a little bit off from right to left. Definitely a bit bigger on this side. Let's see another card. I'm going to say the same thing. It does look like it might be 60-40 or maybe 55-45, which I believe is within, within the tolerances for a PSA 10. Isn't that correct? So you still might have a chance at some really decently graded cards here. Uh, in this print run, again, the first one, so something to look out for. But so far, quality-wise, I have not seen anything uh, to be concerned about the print run. The print quality looks pretty good so far. Pearson, Alex Gordon, Wade Davis, Travis Aranad, Hugh Darvish, Ryan Yarborough, got 
the Diamondbacks, the Pirates, Ryan Rashier, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, Jack Peterson, another Jacob DeGrom. So this is the league leaders. So these ones do say league leaders on them. Got a future stars, Brendan McKay, Tyler Chatwood, Ronald Acuna Jr., and Eduardo Escobar, Mookie Betts. Yeah, Mookie, Seth Lugo, Ruffner, Ruffner, Odor, Odor. If you guys remember the incident in the playoffs, was it two, three years ago when he charged at, oh, I forget his name. Oh, gosh. Oh, who did he go after? Anyways, yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. So these uh, cello packs, these are these are this is a fat pack. So forty cards. You may get less cards because of a special insert, um, but yeah, forty cards in these ones. And if you are curious, trying to see if you can actually see through the back, you can see print. That's for sure. It is harder to read names, and actually it looks like this might be an insert on the back that just tells, uh, maybe gives an idea of the checklist. So I don't think it's anything to be too concerned about, but right there you can kind of read names. So if that's something you care about, um, one thing to look out for. Sorry, as we get into this one... 40 cards. Either. This is a huge pack. All right. Lukey. Josh Reddick. Oh, I can't even say his name. Bruce Star. Great, great Bull. Uh, rookie. Nick Madrigal. James Capriellen. Shohai Otani. Shane Bieber. What a beast. Shane Bieber. In the Indians are a pitcher just factory. And they keep pumping out great pitcher after another. Mike Fultowich. John Happ. Whit Murfield. Austin Riley. Michael Taylor. Gio Rosella. Francisco Mejia. Kyle Seeger. Oh, let's see here. We got a Topps Chrome insert. So Josh Bell. Oh, we got a number card. Coming up right behind. Uh, who is it? Cody. Cody Bell. Oh, I think everybody gets this one, right? Cody Bellinger numbered card. So that's a cool Topps Chrome. So, yeah, Cody Bellinger number 229 out of 299. And let me just take a look. Co one exclusive Cody Bellinger highlight. So I wonder if this is it. Thinking 30. You can see the number there, 229 out of 299. Put him off to the side. Steven Strasburg. Pretty cool. Or is this a highlight card? So what's the difference? So thinking Bellinger, Bellinger, tie breaking blow. So I think you get I think you do get I think this is the highlight card. And this is actually a pretty decent hit. Since we got the numbered one. Okay, I think it's starting to make a bit more sense. So that's Cody Bellinger, Roddy, Ronald Acuna Jr., Juan Soto. Man, it looks so real. It seriously looks so real. And too bad, no ink coming out. It is a re it is a reprint. That is Julio Rios. We got ourselves a twin here. Max Kepler, Luke Voigt, Johnny Cueto, Clayton Kershaw, Max Muncy. Another Shane Bieber. Hands up, masks up. You know, I think it's going to be really interesting to see in the future when uh, hopefully coronavirus or COVID is it's a distant memory uh, that we look back and we kind of see, you know, remnants of what we all went through in the form of masks. So, th you know, things like this become memorialized in print and, uh, you know, through stories being told, you know, from each other 
And I think when we look back and we see masks or 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 things like this being put in print, this this is actually pretty a pretty good reminder again of what we all went through. And I wonder if cards like this are going to be worth more in the future, um, because just because they are a, a very unique moment. I mean, it's our the you know the first big pandemic for for many of us, if not all of us. So. I think we'll look back and see these masks and how they are memorialized, and I, I wonder if this is going to affect the value of the card in the future. Just something to think about. Something to think about. Hands up, masks up. Manny Machado. Juan Soto. The Detroit Tigers. Josh Harrison. Blake. Uh, is it Blaine? Bl Blake Taylor. Josh Bell. Sean Doolittle, Tampa Bay Rays, and a dab on him from Arkia. A dabbing. Check that out. So that was it, guys, for a hanger and a cello fat pack. You know, I think our best cards, let's see, were probably the Cody Bellinger numbered card. So I, I, I'm going to remember to put that in the sleeve. And then we have uh, you know, I like the Bo Bichette Future Stars right here, and I like this, uh, this shiny boy, Francisco Mejia. So we got a decent amount of rookies, so 67 cards in that hanger box, and then 40, so that's a total of 107 cards in the hanger and this yellow fat pack, and we have uh, this many rookies, so let's see, it's 10... 15, 17 rookies. 17 rookies, so uh, almost one in five rookies. And then remember we have these pretty unique inserts. And again, earlier I was talking about the print run and the print quality. And it seems to be uh, very good, actually. Very good. I think they yeah, at least for this first run, centering looks looks pretty good. Uh, with the with the worst probably being a 55-45 from left to right. Oh, and that was a pretty good pull as well. The top, the chrome uh, Josh Bell here. So it's it's really cool seeing these uh, these inserts. And then these cards, I feel like this style was in the heritage uh, the heritage set. If I remember correctly. But yeah, pretty cool. So we'll be opening more Series 1. I have no doubt that we will find it in stores. Guys, it's going to be super available. Like, I see people putting these on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay. And for what? I mean, you're going to make five bucks a box, if that. But it really isn't hard to find this at retail. So, uh, you know, check out your Target, check out your Walmart. There should be there should be plenty of it on the shelves. We saw today just tons of it, along with Chrome, along with the Contenders Football, and along with the Tops Update Series 2020. So you should be seeing plenty of this product. Don't pay resale prices, guys. I promise you'll be able to find it. So, yeah, good luck. I Again, you'll be able to find plenty of it. So that's it for today, folks. Do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.